Hi, this is Daniel from OpenHFT, and in this screencast, we're going to build our first Chronicle Map application. By way of introduction, let's begin with a description of Chronicle Map. This is what it says on our website. Chronicle Map is a high performance, off heap, key value, in memory persisted data store. It works like a standard Java map, yet it automatically distributes data between processes. These processes can be both on the same server or across your network. In other words, it's a low latency, huge data key value store which can store terabytes of data locally to your process. But before we learn to fly, we need to learn to walk. I'm going to show you how easy it is to get up and running with Chronicle Map by converting a simple program that uses HashMap to instead use Chronicle Map. So here it is. We create a normal HashMap over here called Country's Population. We then print its size. Clearly, at this point, it's going to be zero. We then load it up with countries and their populations from a file, print out the length of the hash map, and then do some ad hoc queries to make sure that the program really works. Let's see this in action. There we go. The length of the map before loading from the file is zero. The length of the map after loading is 237. And here we see some queries. The population of the United States, 307 million, United Kingdom, 61 million, and France, 64 million. So nothing exciting so far. Let's convert this map to use Chronicle. First, let's look at what we need to do to import Chronicle Map by inspecting our pom.xml file. As you can see, we've added a dependency on the group net.openhft, the artifact is Chronicle Map, and the current version at the moment is 2.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
The length of the map before loading from the file was zero. The length of the map after loading is 237, and those are the queries. However, there is one difference. You'll see that there's a new file here called population.dat. That's the one we defined over here, which we passed into the Chronicle map, which was created. Let's run this program again, but this time let's not load from the file and see what happens. OK, here it is. Now, the length of the map before loading from the file is 237. And the reason for that is because Chronicle Map has persisted the data from the last run. And all the rest of the numbers are the same as before. So in summary, we've created a Chronicle Map and shown how data can be persisted and read using no more than the map interface. The next video builds on this by showing how data can be shared between processes. Of course, the real distinguishing features of Chronicle Map are its amazing performance and latency numbers, to which I refer you to our website, openhft.net, for more details. But even if you're not a high-frequency trading system and don't need consistent microsecond response times, I hope that you've seen the benefits of using this library in your application for any sort of persistence.